So I'm, I'm, I'm going to focus on a contentious subject, which is education. Uh, the COVID pandemic has caused a massive disruption of the normal organization of education. With schools forced into closure overnight, the education community had to adapt quickly. Classes went live online or started being pre-recorded with teachers using email, clouds and chats to share materials with students. Before the pandemic, we were already seeing a trend, a trend towards digital and online education. And in a few months, this became the new normal with institutions all over the world opting for a remote teaching format or hybrid model of in-person and online. And we may never go back to the way things were. And this means that our calls to support at the international level, a convergence of the national copyright frameworks for education can no longer be dismissed. The education exceptions that exist today in many countries all over the world have no elasticity to cover activities that take place remotely. And from the point of view of educators and learners, they are performing online activities that are equivalent to those conducted in an analog, analog setting. But from a copyright perspective, these activities are not the same. They trigger different exclusive rights. They require exceptions that are technology neutral and that are not limited to certain venues such as classrooms. So in other words, our education communities today are basically relying on right holders not enforcing their rights, which is unsustainable on the long term. Um, we need action from policymakers and, and this action needs to be taken now. We believe the same way why point we impose, you know, the treaties impose on WIPO members the protection of exclusive rights. We should impose on them the protection of education as an exception to copyright. But we propose to set priorities. So, so far, we have been trying to harmonize and discuss harmonization of education exceptions. And what we propose now is that the CCR, SCCR, should focus first on doing normative work towards the adoption of an international instrument to solve the cross-border aspects of these activities. And this means, you know, we know it, with education being primarily conducted online, at least at a higher level, education level, and with a huge amount of teachers and students of the same institution located in their homes in different countries and crossing borders virtually to, to, to conduct their daily activities, we need to decide which national exception will apply to their activity. And no single country can make that decision alone. So the Sorry, proposal... Teresa, your time is up. One second, can I yes. just to finish? We need a supranational instrument can be inspired by the cross-border provisions of the Marrakesh of the new copyright directive and should be applicable subject to certain conditions such as required the applicable exception to respect the treaties and the three-step test. And that's all. Thank you so much, and I'm sorry.